When you think about the future of artificial intelligence or cybernetics, does that conjure up images of HAL from 2001 A Space Odyssey or The Terminator? Or do you think about Data, the android from Star Trek, or the Borg? Will it become a tool to further control the masses, or does it have the potential to revolutionize consciousness and indeed become part of human evolution and awakening? Can AI and spirituality blend? Like it or not, AI is here to stay, so we will weigh in on the pros and cons and about the future of AI and spirituality right now. I definitely know more about spirituality than technology or AI, but from my understanding, computer programs from the past are function on a fixed set of data and responses, whereas AI is programmed with the with the capacity to assimilate new data to add or to alter its programming, or or in other words, think. It can solve uh, problems and function faster than humans. And by the way, if you know more about AI technology, you know where the common stream is, please share. So my concerns about this whole thing, I'll start with concerns and go for the benefits and the future of AI is that it can deter spiritual training by offering a simulation. The use of AI or the overuse of it can atrophy the mind in many ways. Like a good example is when telephones were invented, which is a great invention, by the way, and telegraphs and stuff like that, humans started to lose the capacity to communicate telepathically over distance. There's a lot of us, of like... um oral stories from the Native Americans where they talk about how the, how the chiefs and the shamans could connect telepathically and communicate, and then they would decide telepathically where the different nations would meet, and they, they would meet at that place. It's really quite fascinating. So hopefully we'll regain that. Um, also, you know, it, it can alter education. It can dumb people down. It can replace jobs. It can be used as tools for mass programming and spy on people even. Not, not that that's not already happening, but, you know, it's more sophisticated. Again, it assimilates information and it upgrades itself. Um, it can lead to tr things like transhumanism, you know, the metaverse, social credit scores, all that stuff that, that, that we talk about from time to time. Remember, all technology glitches, so that's another thing to keep in mind. You know, if we're going to be transhuman and have this technology interacted with our biological system, well, it can glitch just like your cell phone can. It can take freedoms away, and of course, all tools can be used or misused. And on the flip side, there's potential benefits also, like artificial intelligence could create programs for personal or spiritual development. ChatGPT could wind up becoming your therapist or spiritual counselor. It can offer more advanced like biofeedback tools to chart your progress through things like meditation, channeling energy and stuff like that, and developing your brain waves. It can solve problems of the world like, like world hunger and stuff like that. It can work with doctors for diagnosis and cures, work with scientists to find cures to diseases and stuff like that. It can increase productivity on a lot of levels. It can provide educational tools. It can aid in space travel and other explanation or can assist us in connecting with the extraterrestrials or higher intelligence or spirit guides or ascended masters. Space explanation, wait, did I say that already? How about geo or oceanic explanation? Uncover the origins of life. So many potential, I'm not hitting on all of them, so comment down below what I'm missing. And by the way, if you enjoyed this content, please like. Please share with friends. Please subscribe to this channel if you're enjoying this and want to be more part of this community. And if you hit that little bell, you'll get notified when we release new videos and, and have live events. In examining the future of AI, keep in mind that this is just the first generation. This is very primitive compared to what's going to be available. Technology can be an extension of our spiritual development, and indeed it can be part of human evolution. But I think the thing to do is to really define what intelligence really is. 
Because to me, intelligence is a universal quality. The universe runs on intelligence, divine intelligence, or God, or spirit, or source, and energy and flow. So everything in the universe is, in is intelligent. It's divine intelligence that keeps the planets circling the sun, that creates the planets, that creates the cells and atoms in our body, that creates everything. So as humans, we're able to tap into universal intelligence, but can machines, can computers also tap into universal intelligence? And if that's the case, is it indeed artificial intelligence or are we creating computers that can tap into universal intelligence? Can AI transcend its programming? Can it match our biology enough to house a soul because soul or spirit is part of universal intelligence. And taking that even a step further, can souls reincarnate into AI generated androids or, or computers if we're able to match the human biology or enough through electronics in order to create a vehicle that the soul can actually function through? Uh, how about uh, holodecks on Star Trek? Uh, can we do that? Or, or can we indeed create a simulation that we can live in like the Matrix? I believe the answer is yes. And I believe that a lot of this technology is going to be available within 100 years. And the spiritual scientist, um, Greg Braden, agrees with that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments or what you have to add to this. This is a short video and a very broad and vast topic. And by the way, check out this video over here for the predictions for the next 10 years that include technology. And I love you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next video.